Hello YouTube, welcome to another one of my Duel Links videos. So, Arcana just was released and um, actually woke up just to try out the event. My first one was a, a level 40 and that's the only one I've dual. And I used this deck, well, almost this deck. Um, I, I changed a few things since. But anyway, um, Elements Unite worked for me because uh, I was looking over his deck list and the only threat that he has to your gate guardian is gonna be uh, a thousand knives. So for him to use a thousand knives, he you know he needs a dark magician and and on the field. So what I what I try to do was um, just destroy all of his monsters to try to keep him from summoning the dark magician. He does have a combo that can still pull it off, which is uh, double cost and double summon, and then dark magician. But double summon, um, it's also just a one-off that he has in his deck, so I, w I wasn't too worried about that. And then I was talking to one of my friends over on the Discord, and you know he he told me about using Ultimate Providence, which I thought was a great idea. Uh, Shoutouts to Illusion for that. Uh, basically, this can negate the um, either the Thousand Knives or the Double Summon, you know whatever whatever you're trying to to do to keep him from getting rid of your gate guardian everything else in the deck it's uh it's basically draw power uh that's why i run the three shard of greed three jar of greed um and then the thunder dragon thunder dragon is also part of the end game so that's why he's in here your end game is going to be your gate guardian um twin headed thunder dragon that's why we run the one polymerization and then your Gravekeeper's Vassal, you know, you're just gonna summon Vassal, activate uh, Secret Pass to the Treasure, and then use double unit attack on it to get over 10,000. Um, however, I noticed that when when going up against Arcana, he he has Mystic Tomato, he has Legion, Finn Jester, so he's doing a lot of deck thinning himself. Um, this deck is very fast, so I was able to keep up with it, but if you don't have, you know, the 3 shard of greed and and actually gather your mind it's also a really good card to thin your deck and you can keep the last copy to this card from you know to use your ultimate providence so that's why gather your mind is in here i have great uh grave diggers gal i wasn't using it in my first deck but in theory it should work basically the other card that's a threat not so much to your gate guardian but to your end game it's uh what is it called i believe it's like dark ren renewal or something like that uh, which basically lets him special summon a dark magician from any spellcaster but you know he's gonna special summon dark magician from his deck or graveyard but he needs a monster on his side of the field and you need to be summoning a monster so if he doesn't have anything on his side of the field the card is not a threat however if he does have something you know he could use that on your thunder dragon or he could use it on your gravekeeper's vassal However, um, if you're destroying his monsters like I was, you know, he'll get all, all his Dark Magicians into hand. And if there's any in Grave, then we use Grave Digger's Gal to uh, banish them. So, you know, before you do your summons. So that's how you play around the Dark Renewal. You could also keep, you know, one Jar of Greed in hand and um, use uh, Ultimate Providence. So that's why I, I went with two Ultimate Providence. I haven't tested this exact deck, like I said, um, so maybe I just got really lucky in the replay that I'm going to show you. And I do apologize if you know this deck doesn't work out for you guys, but it worked for me, so that's why I'm showing it. And before I end the video, I'm gonna I'm gonna look to see if he spawned again, and if he did, uh, I'll try to farm him. But this is uh, this was literally my first attempt. Uh, I happen to have a level 40 so I just tried this out. I was still in bed that's why I didn't record the the live duel and you know because I wasn't sure it was gonna work but anyway so you know you just go uh, with your gate guardian turn one and basically all I was doing here was just uh, destroying anything he summoned because I didn't Obviously, I didn't want him to have monsters in the field for his Dark Magician. 
So I, I, you know, I draw into gather your mind, activate it, draw another one from the deck. Um, the effect is only once per turn, so you can only, you know, thin your deck by one every turn. And th this is what I was telling you that he'll be able to thin his deck very fast. Uh, you know, because you're destroying the Mystic Tomatoes. He just gets another one. And here, um, I decide to attack him face down because I knew he has double cost him, so Mystic Tomato wasn't so much of a threat. So um, that's what I end up doing. I'm just drawing my cards, you know, trying to even out the, the draw battle, I guess you'd call it. So I attack the face down, it was a double cost him. I'm gonna stop the character lines just so the the rest of the replay goes a little bit faster. Cause all I'm doing here is just destroying the monsters. And then we'll get we'll get to the end turn and I'll I'll explain that. So you know you already start behind because you don't have um, any cards in your hand when you begin the duel, but with Thunder Dragon, with Gather Your Mind, um you know, I'm able to get through my deck pretty quickly. And like I said, and like my friend Illusion was telling me, uh, he didn't attack his monsters at all. He just got his uh, ultimate providence and, you know, waited out the Thousand Knives, which is was the only threat to Gate Guardian. Here, unfortunately, I drew all of my endgame, and I didn't want to set any cards because of Dark Magic Attack. So that's why um, I was just discarding my Ririoku Field, which was the card I was using in the beginning for um, Thousand Knives before I decided that Ultimate Providence was a little better. So here's the endgame. Oh, it's not. I'm sorry. This is one turn. I decided to go ahead and uh, summon my Twin Head and Dragon here since he didn't have any monsters and um, I was using Noble Man of Extermination but I didn't realize that he would set uh, those other spells too so that's why Noble Man is no longer out and instead I have the uh, Gravedigger's Gal and Ultimate Providence and then after that it's just you know the usual Secret Pass to the Treasure, Double Unit Attack and there it goes that, that was the farm this is how many points it gave me 8500 you know with the with the fusion summon the effect damage only and um the over 3000 damage i don't think i have that many glossy cards maybe about three or four so you should still be able to get over 8000 but let me check on the on the door war before i end this video and see if he's back out it doesn't look like it so you know if if I get another one before work, I might I might uh, try to record that farming attempt. Again, this one worked for me. If if it doesn't work for you guys, I, I do apologize. I'm not trying to say it's it's 100% or anything. It just happened to work for me. So that's gonna be it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe if you want. And until next time.